It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my min-maxing for Japan. Hearts of Iron 4 for meta multiplayer experience. Wow! Hope you enjoyed the last episode where absolutely nothing happened. But it is important. You need to know that information because otherwise the build is not going to be complete. And therefore, you may have issues. See, I told you. It's all part of the plan. So once again, as I said to you, at this point, you kind of are in a state where you can declare war. Um, but I need to go for Siam. And I guess you could manually justify, I suppose. Yeah, let me have a look. If I manually justify, it'll be 100 days. Yeah, so why not? Let's do that. We're building up the airports as we should. Let's, let's get all those planes. Where are, Actually, all these planes are here, aren't they? Bring these planes down. Come on down. Okay. The tactical bombers can sit at the back. Because remember, tactical bombers... I've got a decent range. There we go, that's just enough. Oh, actually, it's not enough. There we go, that's better. What else have we got? We've got the tacticals, and we have... Ass. I think I've got way too many cas here. One, two, three, four, go. There we go, that's just enough. We have some carrier casts as well. Let me have a look. How many have we got? Why haven't they been replenished? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just trying to make sure I use every single plane, because every single plane is going to make a massive difference. And uh, we've got a few nav bombers too. Standard fighters. I think we've probably stolen a few of those from. Uh, we've got a few tacticals too. These tacticals are gonna. Two, three are gonna reinforce now. Reinforce. There we go. Okay, and then we need to get the zeros out. Here. Boom. Ba doom. Ba doom. I don't think I need the naval bombers here. We can move these to here. Good. Great. And that's enough planes for here, so we move them over to here, and there. Loads of fires. Oh my god, we still don't have that many. But then we are producing quite a lot though, so that should balance things out. Penalty is 4 per 6 percent. Not too bad. This is an area where there's aluminium. Oh no, we're building that up because we want that as part of the supply route, isn't it? Alright, let's move over the main divisions. Let's move them here. We're doing this now because we want to check supply. Oh, I've just realized that that's actually the wrong way around. These are the guys invading Singapore. These are the guys invading the Raj. Done that the wrong way around and that's that's crucially important that because remember this is the guy that's got naval liaison so he's going to do the shore bombardment bonus which you need to take advantage of being in singapore Good, and then we can start working on encryption decryption for the extra attack bonus. They're pumping a lot of tactical bombers as well, which is good. Things going in Europe. Not a lot. A lot of naval battles in the med. Apart from that, nothing else. Edo guys don't seem to be moving. 
Oh, you need to be here, that's why. In fact, you know what we'll do? Just cancel all orders. Go here. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so. This guy defends the mainland of Japan. I am going to make sure we have someone there as well. And then these guys are going to be defending these areas. I realize our supply comes from here too, so it'd be nice if we had a division defending here too. Reason it's not showing up on screen. There we go. Do that as well. And deploy you guys here. Is that enough divisions? Yeah, it is. Way more than enough. Good. And then we have some of you guys which are going to be defending these zones here and here. This is crucially important too because you need to defend these coastal regions here, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of problems. Just realize too that this is pretty much too much coastal zone. Oh, that'll be alright, that'll be alright. And then coastal and ports for those two areas. Perfect. My issues here, really? A bit longer then, that might ease it a little bit. Can't get any more aluminium from more puppets, so we get some more Germany. Can't get any more oil, oh, a little bit more. Oh yeah, we can. There we go. Keeping a really close eye on supply, it's important that we get this just right. Supply issues here. Really? Oh, they're all grouping up here, that's why. Because we can't go into Siam yet. They'll go into Siam in a second and that supply will be alleviated. And also one other thing to do is build up Max AA inside of my capital too. But also making extra civvies is also worthwhile too. Here we go. Good. I guess one thing I could do as well, if I have extra research left over, I could work on AA as well. Logistics, then we're going to go for you. As you can see now, the supply will be alleviated here. No. There we go. As I said to you, because it's a uh, high temperature terrain with lots of jungles, the supply will fluctuate up and down quite aggressively, so that's something to be aware of. Be down just a little bit. I mean, attack force will change the color of this, so we know what it is. Good. Also be aware of this little bit as well, so we're going to grab... I love that, I love this. Go here and then make a hard left! Love it. War propaganda against the Soviet Union. Yeah, so if you have free tech, going down this will be useful because you'll get bonuses to static AA, attack and defense, which is really useful. That's something to take into account as well. So as you can see here, if you can naval invade these areas here, you can split the north from the south. Oh, actually, now I think about it. I've just had this moment of, like, epiphany. And, it, and it, he did actually say that you build a port in the south as well for Siam. Have a look where the key place to build it is. I guess in the mountain on that that tile, I would imagine. I think taking some. There's no resources that we need from Sam, so we can't really boost their economy. That's kind of annoying. All right, look at that. So the. The uh, air bases are almost filled. 
But we'll have more planes very shortly anyway. There we go. We've got our justification. We might as well use it anyway. Wait for you guys to move into position. Complete your orders to go here. Go here. Go, go, go. Make sure our fleet is in position. We'll put them on. Um... Okay, so we just said we're going to go with Tommy Strat here and split the Navy up as much as we can. This is the most tedious job ever. We're going to split them into eights because otherwise they're just going to be too big and it's just going to be so frustrating. There we go, seven and eight. That's good. This strategy is to try and get as much coverage across the whole entire ocean as possible to try and... Well, send their convoys all over the place, other than where we need them to be. So here, here, and here. Uh, I feel an admiral. Here, here, and here. Admiral. Quite easy to uh, dissect this, because you can see these ones don't have orders, so you just select the ones that don't have orders. Here. Select an admiral. Eventually you'll run out of admirals, but it's not a big deal anyway. Remember, it's the idea is just to try and cover as much sea area as possible so they're all the all turn green. Here and here. A lot of them will get intercepted and a lot of them will get sunk, but it's not the end of the world. We are making more submarines too, so we can send out new wolf packs. We can station new ones here. Wait for them to turn green, and they're going to turn green. Like the uh, the subs are probably still on their way. Oh my god, we have so many extras though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll put the the extra ones here, and then uh, we'll send them out if we need be. It looks like we just we've just got too many at the moment. Supply here is max, which I thought it would. We have a big airport here that we could use, but we're not going to use it because we're already max supply anyway. So in all fairness, though, we should use this airport just for la just for the range purposes, shouldn't we? Everything's a lot closer. It'd be easier to uh, get max air efficiency. Air base is insufficient supply. That's actually a big deal because that's a really big modifier too. So I think we should move a few guys here. See if we can alleviate the supply here. They buy a small amount. The biggest problem is this port isn't complete, so the supply chain isn't complete as well. Six of you guys move here. Most of the divisions aren't even here anyway. I think the problem is that maybe I made this division too big. This reduces supply by 16. One, two. So I'm going to have to use like measures here to try and alleviate supply. It's going to be really tricky though. And see, that's a little bit better now. Depending on the time of year and the weather in these areas, it depends on how much supply I'm going to be using, so it can vary. I guess what I could do is go for a 10 width, couldn't I? Could always make that bigger again when we need it to be. So I'll do that. Oops. Yeah. Oh, and I suppose what I could do... Ah, I've just realized how you fix this. You move him here. And now because he's underneath this field marshal, the supply will drop. There you go. Because remember that 20% logistics was affecting these divisions as well. Okay, so I think I should be alright to send some more divisions now, so I'll send another half of these. Remember, because of the surface area, and it's 40 combat width, so we could only do two divisions per tile. Other than that, it's overkill, anywho. 
I uh, realize that you guys are still having supply problems here too, so I'm back to here. An aggression pack with the Soviet Union. What a great idea. All right, this expires in 20 days. Okay. How's the naval coverage? Let's have a look. Beautiful. I love it. I guess we could add another one down here. There you go. We'll do that for now. All right. Then we're gonna add a uh, patrol order in the str in the South China Sea. Oh, too many planes. Back. Perfect. Don't need that division. We can go for infantry expert now. We need a port in the south because otherwise we're going to get disconnected. Move the artillery, that's maxed out now. We can start working on support equipment. Alright, I think everything's in position now. Is there any planes left over that we're not using? A few bombers. Go here. Take two of you guys and move them here. We can declare war and call our allies. Okay, so this part of the war... As you can see, it, it's just an open goal. I could just walk into Singapore and take it. But let's just pretend it's a multiplayer a game. More than likely, USA and all the Commonwealth will be here. And they'll max out the forts too. So they'll make breaking through here an absolute... Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention for this whole series is you can do naval invasions any way you see fit, basically. But remember, you need to get try and get naval supremacy before you do it. Uh, so just be aware, if you're losing really big marine divisions or any infantry division at sea, it's going to be really painful to your cause. So the, the build I've done today is very safe. Yeah, that would it. Yeah, right. This is the most safest multiplayer build possible because the losses are, gonna, are always going to be minimal anyway. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that, actually. I'm okay with calling it the easiest build. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. There we go, we've got air wings without orders. Air wing. Oh, because he hasn't got the range, right. I guess you guys have got to go here. We pull two of you guys back. There we go. So at this point, you'll get air superiority over this region. And I realize I should be bombing too. Bomb. Ports. And you want to try and bomb these ports to reduce the supply in this zone. The AI is moving forward here when I told them not to, but whatever. The AI does its own thing. The Siamese troops are pushing forward because they can see an open area to attack into. So what you're trying to do here is get air superiority uh, by attacking their their uh, their planes and try and get air control. Because you, do you dominate with so many planes in this area, it should be relatively easy and straightforward. Losing submarines. What a surprise, eh? What a surprise. We're intercepting a lot of convoys, which is good. When you intercept convoys, you also reduce the supply in this zone to 158. 4. Do you see what just happened there? It went from 158 to 4. What happened there is we intercepted some convoys, and for a brief moment, we reduced their supply in this area by a massive amount. So intercepting convoys, getting air superiority, bombing the ports will, will congest the supply in this area as much as possible. Obviously, in this case, they don't have a lot of supply in this zone, so it's not going to be a lot of issues. If you hover over and it says attrition percentage, it means they're low supply and they're taking attrition. So in that case, you know that you are I've got them in low supply. And eventually, over time, you can burn them out before you. they eventually... Uh, well, in this case, they'll, they'll lose access to Singapore due to the fact that they can't take the strain of supplies that we're squeezing them with. Okay, so we have enemy fleet here. So what we can do here is select a bunch of our planes... Realize that we're oversupply here again. Move them here and do kamikaze. 
The idea is, is you lure them into these sea zones here, and then you commit kamikazes on them, and then you can eliminate the British or American fleets. In this case, we've spotted that they've got some fleets here, so there we can, we've got some ships here, so we can start bombing them. I must admit that my numbers of kamikazes right now aren't that very high, due to the fact that I didn't go for the, uh, the inter-service rivalry really, as soon as possible, to get that 20% discount on the planes. You see we're intercepting them. If you hover over it here, you can get a bit of an idea of intel. No enemy ships are here anymore, so therefore we can just continue on here. And also, one thing to be aware of as well is you can grab your fleet here, move them here, and don't forget about shore bombardment, because you're using this guy with the shore bombardment bonus. So in this case, we'd attack here, and we get the full shore bombardment of 31%, with 38% air superiority as well. In this case, it won't be a full 38%, but you get the drift of where we're going with this. Anyway, we move the attack, push into India. Go, go, go. And for the most part, this is the end of the kind of tutorial, I guess. This is pretty much the Japanese min-max. And, uh, yeah. So, as the three things you got to do, you got to take Singapore, then you invade the Raj... And then you defeat the, the American fleet. Uh, and at that point, uh, it's pretty much over. It's, it's hard to demonstrate in a single player game uh, me dominating the enemy fleet by using kamikaze. Uh, because, well, really difficult to do. Due to the AI doesn't... The AI doesn't make a death stack. It spreads out its fleets. Um, which makes it a lot easier for you, as you'd imagine. British Malaya has been defeated. Oh, no! Right, just change that over. There we go. Now we're invading uh, into the Raj, which should be pretty much a cakewalk. And uh, for the lazy man that I am, I'm going to assign the vast majority of them to you. Ooh, hang on. Not you, though. You're just going to do your thing. Perfect. And at this point as well, you, you don't want to send all of them... Oh, I just realized I'm sending them all, aren't I? I don't want to send all of them onto... Hang on. Let me just move this fleet out of the way, because I realize there's a, a carrier fleet here that's kind of doing my nutting. We just grab all the planes. Collect pretty much most of them. Sign them onto this guy. Half of them I'm going to keep here though. Because I want to do kamikaze in this air, this zone. Yep. And uh, as I said to you, you'll try and intercept their fleet. More than likely the zones you'll intercept them will be the South China Sea. Uh, you'll intercept them in the Straits of Malacca. You know, they've done a naval invasion here, have they? Signal companies is done. We've got for reconnaissance now. There's also a national focus you can do here. Uh, exploit the southern area, but you need to go for these two. Gives you a bunch of uh, infrastructure. Sorry, it gives you a bunch of aluminium, and it also allows pro ex extra prospecting for resources, uh, which, yes, you can do. I suppose it's sweet, but at this point, it's pretty much already over anyway. You don't need the extra resources. Uh, I guess what you could do, too, is ask for all the... Oh, hang on. What? Oh, of course we don't control it. I guess you'd have to ask for this from Singapore. Are they going to say yes? The AI sometimes is a bit... Nope, the AI sometimes is a bit... Is it a bitch? Sometimes it says no. Hey. Anyway, I've got full control of these zones. This airbase you usually build up as well. I realize I've forgotten that as well. Max those out. We are kamikaze and bombing them there. Whoa, hey. So Singapore has been secured. That's mostly resources for aluminium and rubber and whatnot. Well, it's actually aluminium you need the most. So now our production is tip top. Oil wise, not doing too bad. Can we build any more inside of Manchu? Nope, we've maxed them out completely. Now we're pushing very gradually. Very gradually pushing into... Uh, Burma. 
We're bombing the ports as well. The ports are, uh, are a good idea to bomb. Because uh, it allows you to reduce the infrastructure, particularly in Singapore. That's worthwhile. Italy lay claim to Greek territories. Nice. And you guys can take care of suppression, I guess. And push further and further into the Raj. Northern India supply issues. That happens. Start working on AA because they might try to strategically bomb mainland uh, Japan, which is a nuisance. United States to join the war, so you need to be aware of a big United States fleet. Uh, you guys can go search and destroy in the South China Sea. Still, gonna make an, still making an absolute crap ton of fires, which is good. Don't forget to improve the model as well. I don't have as much XP as I would like, actually. Let me go back to that. Can we max out the... Yep. Alright, good. I'm going to check on the areas that we're controlling. We can get some more dudes here. Go, go, go. Where else can we control? We can control here, here, and here. Go for it. Send out all those submarines. Where's the submarines? Oh, those are the ones that we're actually making inside of mainland. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. Hire another guy. Oh, that was a waste of political power. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Hawaiian Ridge as well. I'm trying to intercept as many as I can. So we're losing a lot of planes here because we are bombing them in this zone. Uh, but I'm, you want to keep a close eye of where the death stack is. Remember, this is prior to man the guns, so death stacks are a thing. And as you can see, that the American fleet will probably move its death stack in somewhere around here to try and help out Sing the Singaporeese. Can I have Singapore, please? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Now we're getting all the resources from inside of here. In that case, we don't need nowhere near as many. Oh, we still need a lot. Never mind. I'll take it back. Is there are a lot of factories here. Oh, there is. That's why. So now we've assigned. So all the new factories, we've just assigned them back into the industry. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. There you go. I uh, can work on advanced computer machine. That's probably so end game. It's not even worth it. So I said to you, air superiority efficiency is worthwhile, so that's something you might want to give a give it a try. Or aluminium. We, a lot of our convoys are getting intercepted. Yeah, they're getting intercepted here. We're losing a lot of them in the English Channel. Having convoys in Japan is worthwhile, and it's a really good idea because as you as you move from further, further forward. You are going to need more and more resources and more and more convoys, which are convoys are very heavy on the resources. Uh, we got you guys positioned here, have we? Yep. You keeping the suppression down? Yep. That's good. Malaya, Singapore, Malaya? Not Malaya, is it? Oops. Need to move you guys down. Need to work on the AA. Our capital region. One little cheeky strategy to do in multiplayer, which I don't know why this strategy isn't banned. You train a bunch of divisions. And you don't assign them a location where you want them to land. And then when they when the enemy lands on near your capital region, you deploy them right next to them. And then you attack them. It's such a sneaky trap, but hell, it works. What the hell? Oh, wow. They want to send us some towed artillery. How nice of them.
kamikaze and planes yep using all our planes now you got to use all your planes position that's good a few supply issues which is to be imagined Maybe aggressive. This is completely overloading the amount of divisions that should be within this zone, but whatever. I guess what you could do at this point is to try and alleviate the stress of the infrastructure by building more infrastructure as you as you do advance. I'd imagine that would work. So one classic strategy for India would be back out of Burma and just hold this line here and build forts behind it and sit behind it. It doesn't work really, in my honest opinion. You can break it anyway, and then if you if you at this point if you make a really solid line here and you can't break it, you just do a naval invasion and they won't be able to contest that anyway. So I don't know. It's up to you what you want to do, but um, just pushing directly into Raj. If you've broken Singapore, the Raj should be a breeze. The Raj is pretty much an easier version. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, I've done the wrong thing there. Oops. I'm going to back those guys out completely. Oh, what? Still kamikaze in here. We're sinking lots of convoys, which is good. Let's have a little look. I don't usually look at this screen. And I don't even know where the screen is. Here we go. So all countries, all factions... Can look at individual battles. See, I, I very rarely even look at this. The last, this current month, we've lost 17 submarines and we've lost one convoy. Noteworthy battles. Because that's, that's the most noteworthy battle. 14 submarines versus one destroyer. <laughs> wow! All right, we are still pushing into them and still attacking them, doing pretty good. Attacking them from both angles here. But I guess the fact that we're pushing from the north and south is pretty sweet. More than likely, breaking this is, is a nightmare. It's mountain tiles, and you can't really get enough firepower on it to try and break it. But don't just... You could try and hold this area. Just be aware that they may snake through the northern area. Just be aware of that, because that can be quite a nuisance. It looks like we are actually snaking around the back of them here. That is actually really perfect. Got air superiority too. Get off the naval strike. Looks like we've managed to get around the back of them here. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Can we get there in time? Can it be done? Yeah, we did it. Nice. 11 British divisions. Like they're grabbing the islands from you here. It's not a big deal, really. I, I feel like the Pacific War island hopping game in Hoi 4 is just like... It, it, it feels like you can just choose to selectively ignore it and just not paying attention to it. Because otherwise, it, you don't really lose that much. Like, these islands don't have any kind of value other than ways to launch invasions that are closer by. So, I don't know, win the naval battle, then you start island hopping, I guess. Where do you think you're going? Are going to have to get there in time, or are they going to get encircled? Yeah, they've got them.
How many extra planes have we got? Keep an eye on those plane counts. Yep, all planes are being allocated. Uh, aside that, I guess we could allocate a few more bombers. And Chuka wants to send his artillery. Remember, we always want to allocate these primary reinforcements because I don't want to have low strength divisions. That's just going to be messy. Reconnaissance. I guess you could rush, rush logistics because logistics is one of the issues you have when you're fighting in the world. Uh. I guess you could have a few logistical problems in in areas of the Indies, Australia. But as I said to you, if you take Singapore and you've taken the Raj, the war's pretty much already over. You are kind of relying more on what's going to happen in Europe between Germany and the Russians. Um, yeah. Raj, how long have you got left? Grabbing those cities pretty quick. Backed up the forces north and west, north and east. Do, 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 do. A few guys you could go for ground support, extra air superiority is nice. There's also a, I guess the commerce rating one's not pretty decent too. Subs, only two subs. You can tell me how many light fleets you've lost here by just looking at the, um, how many admirals you've got. It shows you how many fleets you've lost, I guess. This is a massive nuisance for a multiplayer game because the, the player has to put a lot of APM into microing all these ships. So it's just a massive pain in the butthole having to micro them. Help the AI, AI out here. AI out. AI out. Out. That is, I think, all of the raw shit. So you just have to gobble up some more land. Yep. Oh, go go go! Just do what you do. What I told you to do. Is that it? Is that the end of the Raj? Almost. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. Final episode. Oh, I don't know. Bombay, I think that's it. 90%. Still that not enough? They keep reinforcing Bombay, that's why. 100%. And they're gone. Collapsed. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And I think the last episode will be pretty much the final one where we clean up the indies. Australia and Philippines and that's pretty much the mid max for Japan. All right guys. See you next one. Bye. -bye.